Hello and welcome to my let's play of Star Fox 64 on the easy route. My name is Sticky Treason and right now we're going to change routes. This isn't something you would normally do in this game because when you change a route you kind of actually go to a nicer area. Or when, whenever you go through a warp zone or something like that you go to a nicer area. But we're just going to go on ahead and go to Fortuna where we will meet the opposition of this game, well, one of them. The There's a lot of oppositions army. in this game. What am I talking about? Roger, General. Enter Star Wolf. Spoilers. Split up and take it to him. Now you just go around shooting enemies. Blah blah blah. Blather blather blah blah blah. They'll come out of the base that was in the middle. Got your kill, Peppy. Just kind of take these guys out. It's going to take some time to get to the actual meat of this level. However, you will find out how useless your team is here, because they came and go against these two-shot bogeys. Hey, I just helped you with your little episode problem here. So pop on the bob. Essentially what you want to try to do here is kill enough enemies before Star Wolf appears. That you get the gold medal. Why are my teammates always flying directly in front of me? I don't even know. Numb's probably supposed to be a better shot than this, but... Hey, it would be much easier if they just kind of stuck to their own whims. Why are the enemy ships coming out of the base? And this is where the, uh, we get introduced to these guys for the second time. First time. Whatever. Andros has ordered us to take you down. Happy. Long time no see. Andros's enemy is my enemy. Now, unlike Venom, these guys are a piece of cake in this area. Let's take care of these guys first. I mean, they have weak ships. They just kind of fly around and do nothing. And Wolf has a very funny line. If I can ever get the boost to work. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I mapped these to the actual... To some C to the actual like buttons buttons, not the stupid fake C stick that I'm rocking right now. Oh Boom! <laughs> Your father helped me like that too. Well good, he's a nice person. I am the last time you said last time you said that, Peppy, I was shooting at you. you so whatever. Darn it, if I keep miss if I keep messing up then I'm not just I'm not gonna be able to show off the uh Hilarious dialogue. See, that's Pigma down. I am a great Leon. Okay. You're not so tough. Darn it. Not gonna be able to hear Wolf say his famous line. Can't be happening. Well, one of them. See, I've already. When you're. There's one more to go. When you're, uh. When your total reaches red in coloration, then you finally hit your cap. What the heck? You know, that means that you're going to get the gold medal in that lo in that area. And that was the line! And it completely discombobulated me because I was trying to do too much. And he's dead. Now... We're going to be going to Solar, which is the, which is the ever-loving son of this area. But I'm going to change my path again because I actually completed the mission. Uh, there's a bomb inside the base that Rob64 mentioned. If you let that explode, then you'll just go straight to Sector X. But we're just going to go the cheap way and just go for it. Yeah, we made it, Slippy. You're almost dead. Take 
amazing. You're almost dead too. This is gonna suck. That was a close call, Fox. Well, at least we're not going to solar. If you go to solar, the uh, well, we'll wait for solar. But this is actually the easiest area to get a to get a metal in because it takes ten enemies and while well, defeating Star Wolf. Okay, we're gonna switch, change courses again to Sector X. I don't like Sector X. Reports indicate that Andros is working on some secret weapon. I'll check it out. All right, we will. I'm gonna try and go through the warp zone again because I just love it. No exposition for this area. You just kind of get dropped into it. Let's take out that weapon, boys. Okay. Let's have a little fun. Stay alert. I killed all those enemies. <laughs> Oh, almost got it. Enemy group behind. Nuts. Okay, got it. Actually, and these guys they fly ahead of you, and better shoot lasers. Uh oh, there's gonna be a plot twist here. We're getting close to the base, which is protected by deadly landmines. But there's something not fun about this base. It's that it's in pizzas. I mean pieces. It's all gone. Hear that? That's the little guy. All right. If you kill that little sucker fast enough, which it's a bit difficult to do, you do get the. Uh, you can get two rings, if I'm not mistaken. What the heck is that? They're on me. I'm getting careless. Thanks, Fox. Welcome. I'm kind of disputing whether or not I should go through the warp zone or not. Because the warp zone takes us to Sector Z. And we don't really need to go through that. I'm not going to go to warp zone. Go for it, man. You're just as special as I am. Now, this is the easier area to go through. You've seen that it forks and Peppy took the outside. Um, this is the easier way to go, because the other way is actually, you have to break some stuff. But, from here, there's two different ways that this can go. And I'll explain this now, because it's a time thing. I'm gonna try and beat him in time, but... No. If I don't, then it doesn't really matter. But, the boss that we're gonna fight has a timeline of sorts where if you don't actually beat him in time if you don't beat him in time you're going to be a little screwed and you're going to have to go to the dumb planet which I completely hate it's all red and difficult or you get to go to the place known as Macbeth and it's all time depending on a certain little idiots on my team. Also, here's one of those blue guys again. I'm trying not to spoil too much, even though it's right here, I think. What the heck? Yep. Fox, look behind you. Um, essentially what you have to do is you need to beat this guy fast enough so he doesn't hit Slippy's ship. Of course, if you don't hit... If you don't have Slippy, then you don't have to worry about it. But I have Slippy on me. And oh my gosh... An outside Nintendo reference? What is this? Is this Rob? I will terminate all enemies. I'm gonna play some uh, gyro whatever. I forgot what it's called. You are an enemy. All you have to do is hit his head. Essentially if it's glowing and yellow, that's where you need to aim. You are an enemy. 
from some of these bosses. And it's safe to say, I've, it's been forever since I've tried to beat this guy. Where is the creator? That's exactly what he said. Shoot him up some lasers. Indeed I did, I did. Huh? Oh shit. That view is clear. Destroy. Destroy. Destroy what? He's crazy. I must Got it. Complete. Okay, I'll cover Slippy's like idiotic episode in the next time. The, you know, the mis I'm going to make a miscellaneous video, and that's going to be part of it. I need to wake up. I need to get this done. <laughs> Alright, two one-ups. Then get up to the enemy cat par, whatever it is. That's okay. So we will go off to... Macbeth! Okay. That... My name is Sicky Treason, and I'm ending the part right here. Um... I will see you in part three of this easy path run. So, ta-ta from now.